Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing alright this morning. Today's Sunday, December 18th. One more week till Christmas. Uh, currently it's 32 degrees. High today is only 37. It's, we're starting to see some colder weather coming in. And chance of precipitation today is 14%. Humidity is 59%. It's windy out there. 15 mile per hour winds. 28 is the air quality, and that's really good. I haven't seen it as low as it's been the past few days, and I haven't. It, it never is this low as the air quality, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Okay, I forgot to get something. Hold on. I got a couple cards in, but I think I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to get some today. I think I'll wait till tomorrow to do friend mail, because uh, I think I'm going to get a couple more, maybe. We get that thing where, um, I might have been mistaken, she, she might have been talking about something else. We get a picture from our post office each day of the mail that we're getting. They don't show the uh, packages. They'll say you have a package, but they don't take pictures of the package, but they do of the mail. And it's kind of neat. Uh, so today, there'll be a big Aldi haul today. Big Aldi haul. Um, that would be like our, this has been a while, uh, probably about almost a week ago now. Um, that was like our first trip to Aldi this month. So we got quite a bit of stuff. Um, what's for dinner? We had pigs in a blanket last night. Um, well, anyway, I want to show you this, this first. You know, I talked about the natural gas doubling pretty much. Yeah, it, it, it did. And uh, the, so this is going to be worse, you know. It's, it's, this isn't even the really cold weather yet that we've been getting. So, you know, we sat down and talked about it. And we need to be able to turn the, the uh, gas furnace, the, the heat pump. We need to be able to turn the thermostat down more. Even though we've got it on 65, I don't know if we can. It was on like uh, 68 is, is what I believe it was on. And I've got it on 65 right now, but we're, we're probably going to end up having to turn that down a little bit more. But to be able to do that, I mean, we I don't want it to be 60 degrees in the house, you know, uh, that's cold. And but uh, we got talking about it, and you know, I we, my mom years ago, we've had it for I don't know 12 years or more probably. Uh, we have an oil heater. It's, it's filled with oil that heats up. It looks like a radiator. And uh, we keep that in the living room. And, and just like in the summer, we have the portable AC unit in there. And, you know, I keep it, I keep a blanket, like a comforter over the entrance to the family room, right back from here. And um, that way in the winter, it's warm in there with the, that heater and then in the summer it's cool in there and the rest of the house is hot in the summer but um so we i, I looked uh, on amazon and found a what i think is a really good deal on one it was uh i think it was 55 dollars yeah 55.99 uh which is cheap you know good deal for me for for one of those i think um hi kitty what you doing uh the one mom got us even years ago was like 50 bucks. And that was long, you know, way back when things were a little bit cheaper. But, um, yeah, I found one for $55. It's 1,500 watts. And I'm going to, and if they got wheels on them, you can just roll them around anywhere you need to. And that's what it looks like. It's, uh, it looks nice. It's got four and a half star rating. Um, the the one that the next one that was similar to this was seventy two dollars, so so fifty five ninety nine I thought was a great deal. Um, I recommend these. They don't make any noise. I don't know about this new one. I don't think it does. Uh, ours in there doesn't make any noise. 
it will heat that place up. If you don't watch it, it'll be too warm in there. I mean, it, do, it doesn't use, I can't tell that it's using a ton of electricity either. It, the one I've got in here right now, the little, with a little fan on it, that just is electric, you know, that one will use way more, I know, than, than the other one because we used to use it, you know, ones like these before, and they ran the bill up. Kitty's right behind the camera here. So anyway, yeah, that's what that one looks like. So I can move it around, you know, like in the, at night, I can keep it back in our bedroom. During the day, we can open up the doors like to Logan's room in our bedroom and, and everything. And I could put it maybe right here in the foyer or somewhere in the hall and it'll heat up that whole, that whole hallway, I'm, I'm thinking, because I know that one heats up our big living room really good. So I just thought I'd show that to you. And so pigs in a blanket last night, I fixed the, um, she's hungry, I think. I fixed the uh, Cracker Barrel macaroni and cheese. With, it has sharp cheddar, and it was really good. And I fixed some uh, black-eyed peas. I use everything for a bagel on that. And I use little Smokies for the uh, pigs in a blanket. These were fantastic, y'all. With those little smokies in there, they just, oh, they're really good. Uh, tonight, they're wanting my hamburger steak. So I'm going to use some of those ground chuck patties, Black Angus ground chuck patties from Grocery Outlet. And uh, Joyce, we need to use some potatoes, as I mentioned yesterday. So Joyce fixing some mashed potatoes. And we're just going to have some green beans with it. Okay, let's do, i got a couple... Uh, well, I can do this other thing for I have got a taste test and it's these these uh, Christmas tree brownies. I did the what was that a snowflake brownie before? Christmas tree brownies. She's hungry. I'm gonna get her something. Hold on. She's she's being real patient though. She's hungry. I know she hadn't had her tuna yet. Okay. Yeah, Christmas tree brownies. Little Debbie. And Kitty's, I've got her tuna over here. She's, like I said, she was hungry. Here, let me move that. Kitty, you can sit down there. There you go. Okay, where's my glasses? I don't really expect these to be good for me, but it's something I wouldn't eat. You know, well, these particular ones probably once a year, but I don't eat stuff like this, you know, just snack on it so uh but i you know i'll try one uh 210 calories 12 percent total fat 20 percent saturated chocolate uh no trans fat no cholesterol five percent sodium 11 percent carbs 34 percent sugars and six percent of iron so really it's not really horrible but Okay. Right. Little Christmas tree. I'll tell you what, those cookies uh, that I tried yesterday from Dollar General, those for the price are fantastic. And they went so good with coffee. Okay, let me get this thing out. Okay. Well, as expected, it's just like the other brownies, with the exception of the icing, which has got quite a bit of icing on it. Look at that. Look, it's the only thing about these brownies to me is it's just real like dense. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's just like a thick. It, you know, a brownie to me would be, you know, not cake-like, but not, not, you know, these just don't, to me, they're not like a real brownie to me. 
They really are. Uh, the regular ones, either the cosmic brownies or... And Joy loves them. She loves them. And they're not bad, but... I just don't... Th um, when I think of a brownie, I don't... The taste, is to me, is a little bit different than this in the texture. I mean, they're little Debbie's, though. I mean... They're not... It tastes like a homemade brownie. Which is what I'd rather have. They are what they are, though. Um... I give it a four and a half. Four and a half. They, I mean, they're good. I, I'm not, I'm not saying they taste bad or anything. I'm just saying I don't think of a brownie. They just don't taste like a, a like a regular brownie to me. Okay. Four and a half stars, though. It's a novelty for Christmas, I guess. You know, kids would love them. I'm sure. Okay, let's see. Let's do some... Uh, I got a couple of today's tidbits. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Okay, where was I? I showed you the... I got two tidbits today. I thought this one was kind of neat. Burst water main creates amazing icicle amid freezing weather. I hope y'all can see this. Look at that. Oh, you can see it, I think. Look at those. A burst water main on a street in Gloucestershire, England, created wonderful icicles on hedges surrounded a pro surrounding a property this week. The peculiar structure was created when vehicles splashed water onto a roadside hedge as they passed a water main in the freezing weather. The icicles resembled organ pipes in the cathedral. <coughs> And, you know, I've talked about this, and everybody needs, to, if, there's, if it's possible and you're able to do it, everybody needs to grow some of their own vegetables this, this coming uh, spring and summer. Really, even if you just grow a couple things, because it's, the prices are getting crazy. Um, it says U.S. vegetable prices jumped by nearly 40% due to drought. And y'all watched me grow everything pretty much we needed except for potatoes and lettuce. Sometime we had to get some lettuce and stuff. I don't think we had to get anything else. Maybe some onions, regular onions. I had garden onions, you know, the green onions. But regular onions we had to buy. But in the U.S., vegetable prices have nearly doubled since last year. November saw a 38% increase in vegetable prices over October. The increase was greater than 80% on a year-over-year -year basis. This comes after water cuts from the Colorado River were imposed on Arizona farmers due to drought. They produce over 90% of the leafy greens consumed in the U.S. I never knew that fact. I never knew that. That's interesting. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would highly consider um, growing some your favorite vegetables. I know I will again. I mean, I also, you know, took care of my friends and family, uh, giving, giving them all kinds of produce. Okay. I know mom was happy. She's still eating on it in the freeze. She froze a bunch, and we still got quite a bit frozen that we've been eating on. And I did the tomatoes and, you know, diced tomatoes this year. First time we did that and froze them, and they're fantastic to put in chili or something like that. Oh, gosh, they're so good. I'm going to have to make some sauce with them. Okay, nice news. Um, major step forward. Modified peptide could change landscape for brain cancer treatment. I don't know what those are. Oh, those are pictures like uh, x-rays. Like Researchers from Brown University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have discovered a new way of administering medication to mice with malignant brain tumors. A milestone achievement that could, excuse me, one day help treat humans who are battling brain cancer. Brain cancers are notoriously different to treat as the blood-brain barrier 
prevents most drugs from re reaching the brain. This hmm, contributes to the high mortality rate in patients. Fast growing, I can't, glioplastoma or something, an aggressive brain cancer has a median survival of 15 months from diagnosis. For the study, the team focused on a type of peptide, a chain of amino acids linked by chemical bonds. A press release explains and modified it by creating a staple between amino acids in the sequence and also incorporated fluorine molecules. This enhanced peptide was more efficient at getting past the blood-brain barrier and lasted longer in the bodies of the mice. We were not only able to get a drug into the brain but deliver it at a concentration that should be able to kill tumor cells, study author Sean Waller said. He added, we think this is a significant finding that could ultimately inform new approaches to treating people who face some of the most severe brain cancer diagnosis. I didn't know that, that you couldn't get, uh, you know, medicines to go, I guess, through your body into your brain. I didn't know that it would blood brain barrier I'd never heard of that before world's oldest DNA paints a new picture of icy Greenland to two million years ago oh they have two of them today that I hadn't read on Sunday usually on Sunday they just have one that I hadn't done Scientists have uncovered the world's oldest known DNA in northern Greenland, a major discovery that sheds lights on, light on what the now barren landscape may have looked like two million years ago. The study opens a door into a past that has basically been lost, lead study author Kirk Kajir told the Associated Press. The DNA suggests that a diverse array of plants and wildlife, including reindeer, rodents, and geese, once lived in the area. This also indicates that it was once much warmer there. The time period the samples come from was one of climate change, the researchers said, made clear by the mix of Arctic vegetation and plants that thrive in warmer temperatures. One of the most surprising discoveries to come out of the study was evidence of mastodon DNA. The mastodon, a now extinct elephant-like animal, originated in North and Central America and was previously not thought to have roamed as far as the top of Greenland in a, per a press release. I wouldn't have in a million years, I think I might have read this one, expected to find mastodons in northern Greenland. I think I read, I might have read this one. I'm not for sure. I do so many of these. Okay. These here, I know I did. Okay, quote of the day is from Ernest Holmes. Life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it. <laughs> so you got to think about that for a second. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Get you some of those little Debbies and try them. You'll, I think you'll find out with the exception of the icing. They're just like their regular brownie. Um, I got those at Kroger. Um, pretty sure I got them at Kroger. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think they were two fifty because I got the other ones we tried. What was that other one? The, the snowflake one, I think. And we got something else. Oh, those nutty one. Those nutty bars or whatever nutty buddies uh they were 250 also so little debbies aren't cheap anymore <laughs> and i think that was actually on sale or something i'm not for sure about that it said two for five i don't know i don't think i was even on sale but um you know we wanted to check them out and see what they were like anyway so hope everybody has a great day check out my uh, big aldi haul later on have a great day and we'll see you later on god bless